G'day guys, today I'm going to be making some Play-Doh kits. I've done this before as birthday presents, which you can see on screen, but today I'm going to be making them for my kids for Christmas. It also works so well as a bit of an activity on Christmas Day as well, some fresh new Play-Doh. So I thought I'd show you how I make the Play-Doh first and then some ideas of what you can put in it. So what I'm going to be doing is half a cup of plain flour, quarter of a cup of just table salt, that's why I've got such a big container because I make a bit of Play-Doh, and one tablespoon of cream of tartar, half a tablespoon of oil, and then half a cup of boiling water, and then a few drops of food dye. I put the food dye into the boiling water to help it mix, and I'm also gonna be using gloves so that I can mix it all together with the boiling hot water. When you've got the flour, just tap it and make sure there's no air bubbles in there so that it's chock-a-block full of flour. That's really important. So I've got my half a cup of plain flour, Next, I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of salt. Once again, fill it right to the top. Quarter of a cup of salt. Next, I'm going to put one tablespoon of cream of tartar. This is what gives it its really soft feel. Next, half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, let's talk food dyes. I find Queen's food dye really good. So they've got the little droppers in rainbow. You can pour it. This time I'm not going to, but you could put some natural peppermint. In. If you wanted it to smell like peppermint, you could put a drop or two of that in. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, there's also a lemon flavored one. This is not for kids to eat. They are just smelling it. Lavender Play-Doh is really nice too, because it's so calming. The other food dye I've got is from Wilton's. And this has all the instructions of how you mix it to get the color you want. So it's got lots of different options that you can do. So first off, like I said, I'm going to put the drops in here, green. If you want to get a real bright green, like grassy green, then use yellow as well. Do green and yellow. Now what I'm going to do is put my gloves on so I'm ready to go, ready to get kneading as soon as I've got that boiling water in. Okay, so like I said, I'm not gonna pour it all in at the start, and I'll mix it. The boiling hot water helps dissolve the salt, which is really important. If you find it's too dry, then just add more water. If it's too sticky, just add more flour. I've done this before, I had to add a fair bit of flour, and it was just the softest Play-Doh. It was so nice. Now I like that, but I would like it to be a bit brighter. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more food dye. To the water. Now I'm not happy with that green colour, so I'm going to add more food dye, and if I have to add more flour, I will. I really love the Ikea Gliss container. I think it's perfect for Play-Doh, but you really can use any one you want. And then to keep it from drying out, I just wrap it in Glad Wrap. I've also put it in airtight containers. That works really well. And then whatever party theme or Christmas theme or what your children's interests are, add that. So with the car theme one, I had little traffic signs and a wooden car. Grass works well. There's so many options, animal figurines. So I totally recommend going to a cheapo dollar kind of shop and see what they've got there. You'll be so inspired about what you can put in your Play-Doh kit. Thanks for watching. Bye.